Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the Pickmaster Plectrum Maker. I just got it the other day, you can see uh, it's really solid, um, very well made and just squeeze action like that and the pick, you make a pick. As you can see I've already opened it but um, that's the cardboard that came inside the plastic packing and that's what you'll see if you buy it. Um, and then on the back you've got um, how, to, how to use it and uh, a plectrometer which shows you how much you'll save on guitar picks. So for the ads it says um, to use key cards and credit cards and, and they're all right. Um, the thickness is pretty good. I'm a bass player so um, the thickness was pretty much what I'd use. Um, and you can see some picks here that I've already made out of credit cards. An iTunes card, credit card. Um, what I did find though, that you got three layers of plastic with a credit card. You got the main layer in the middle, you got the thin clear layer on each side. So when you make them, when it punches them out, they're a little bit rough. Um, so I found that you just get some <coughs> uh, sandpaper. And that's uh, P280 sandpaper. And I found the best thing to do is just to fold it a bit so you get a crease and then you rub each side like that. And doing it that way seems to get the best edge on it and it's nice and smooth and just like a normal pick. It's got a bit of flex in it. As I say, I'm a bass player and a lot of people think that if you're a bass player just buy the thickest pick you can. Uh, I found I've been playing bass for a long, long time and I found that it's best to have a bit of flex in the pick and you get more furl and you can play faster too, so don't always go out and get the thickest pick you can if you're a bass player. Um, but today I'm going to show you, I wanted to try some uh, just plain plastic and you can see that's just a bit of sheet plastic, it was off the top of a container, um, it was the lid. and. Um, I'm just going to try a pick. This is thinner plastic, so I would use this for playing a guitar, this one. But you can see you just put it in like that, and if it had a design on it, you just put it whichever way you want your design to show up on the pick. And then you just squeeze it like that. And there's your pick. And as I say, got a bit of a rough edge around there, but you just get your sandpaper, P280 I'm using. And I fold the crease in it like that, and I rub it each edge like that, and like that. And I found doing it that way seems to get the best edge on the pick. And there you are, and that's got some nice flex in it, and you're ready to rock. So that's the Pickmaster Plectrum or Pickmaker. Great piece of equipment.